Should you do a post back, a special masters? Neither. We're going to be answering that question in this video. All right, guys, let's get down to it. What is a post back? What is a special masters program? And do you need to pursue this route to get into medical school? So, a post back can be divided into two categories. There's the GPA enhancer post backs, and then there is the career changer post backs. What do I mean by this? So, if you were an art major because you thought you wanted to be an artist, or you were some other major business, whatever it is, you in college, you go, you work for a couple of years, and you realize one day you want to be a doctor. You want to be a physician, you want to go back to school. This is the perfect time to do a career changing post back. Basically, the goal of this post back would be to take all the pre med prereqs that you need to actually apply to medical school. Then you take the MCAT, go through the application process, and then apply to medical school. So you're kind of starting from scratch, but you don't need to get a whole another bachelor's degree and take other excess classes that you would normally do in four years of undergrad. Usually these are about two years, these programs, and it's really straight to the point, taking all the pre-med classes, uh, sometimes some upper level classes as well. You take the MCAT, you have usually some type of pre-med advising at the program, and then you apply to medical school. The other type of post back, and I have a lot of students that I work with that end up having to go this route, are for students who really did not do well in undergrad. They had a very poor GPA, and they need to basically have an, a second attempt at showing that they can do well in school, can do well in, this, in their sciences, and then apply to medical school. And so a lot of students ask if there is a uh, threshold, a GPA threshold, for when to take a post, when to know that you need to do a post back. And it's hard for me to give an exact answer. If you're below a 3.0, most of the time I would recommend a post back program, but then it gets into this gray area, so I can't give you very specific advice. Take this video with a grain of salt, it's general. But like if you have, a, for example, an upward trend where your junior and senior year, you were getting almost straight A's, but you really didn't do well your first two years, they'll medical schools will see that you have completely transformed as a student you know how to do well in, in hard science classes uh, let's say physics biochem you're getting as you take maybe a micro bio class in college you also got an a in that um, or a minus or whatever it is and those last two years you're doing really well and your gpa is still not its strongest because that first those first two years really hurt you uh, but you're above a 3-0 you know maybe you have a 3-2 3-3 you can absolutely get into medical school especially if you do well on the mcat and so it, that's the type of situation where I may not recommend a post back program. But again, every situation is uh, unique to you. So if you really want more personalized advice, feel free to DM me. We could talk about it. Maybe you'd be a good fit for our pre-med advising program. Um, so the, the other case would be someone who kind of has just not done well at all. There was no upward trend in their GPA senior year. They were still getting C's, D's in their in some of their classes. Um, and maybe even if they had like a 3-1 GPA or something like that, but really just never shown that they can excel in the hard sciences, this might be a time where you would still need a post back, especially you didn't do maybe well in the MCAT if you took it when you weren't prepared. Um, a grade enhancing post back might be a good option for you. So what is a special master's program? Oh, and actually, before we, I get into that, the grade enhancing postbacks, sometimes they're a little bit more flexible, where unlike the career changing one, where you're taking all the pre-med requirements, you can sometimes pick and choose which classes you would need to take. Uh, basically, you're enrolled in that school for as a postback student, but let's say you don't need to retake, let's say you did well in general chemistry and got A's in that. You might not need to take uh, general chemistry at that school, maybe you can skip right into orgo, et cetera. Every postback is a little bit different, so I recommend you uh, research each school that you're, you'd be applying to, but yeah, I just want to throw that out there. All right, so special master's programs. So those are programs that are basically like taking the, what you would take in first year of medical school. Sometimes they're even um, taken with medical students and at a medical school. So you'd be taking classes like immunology, microbiology, biochemistry, path, uh, et cetera. These classes are really good to show that you, if you can excel in these classes, get A's in these classes, that's gonna really put medical school's minds at ease, the admissions committee's members' minds at ease, that you're gonna be able to excel academically at their school. And that's really, for the most part, the, one of the first things that they're looking at when they look at your application is they need to know that you're not going to fail out of their school. And that's why, like, if you've never done well in classes and then you think you're going to apply and magically get into medical school, a lot of times it's not going to be the case. Now, I'm not saying you have to have a perfect GPA by any means, but even if you have a really bad GPA and then you do a special master's program, that because it's a master's, unlike the post that will actually be a separate GPA that they get to see. So if they could, if medical schools can see that you have, you did a special master's program and you basically 
basically got a 4-0, well, that's going to look really, really good um, as opposed to maybe that lower GPA that you just had from undergrad. So then when you're trying to decide between special masters or a, a grade enhancing post back, it's not always clear cut. Honestly, both could be good options. Let's say you want to go back and retake some classes that you did poorly on in, in undergrad, like chem, bio, etc. Then the post back option might give you more flexibility with doing that. The special masters is really going to be for when you're ta- you're going to take upper level sciences pretty much the whole time. I wouldn't, some, a mistake I do see students make is doing a master's in something else like global health or, or something like that. That's great and could be like a good gap year thing if you really want to get that master's. Uh, but it's not going to prove, even if you get a 4.0 in that program, it's not going to prove that you could really handle the hard sciences that you're going to have to take in medical school. So that is not what I would do if you're someone that really needs to show that they can improve their GPA and do uh, well in these hard science classes. It's going to be a special master's program or a post back. So hope that clears some things up. If you have any other questions about this topic, drop it uh, below. And if you're enjoying these videos, you want me to make more of them, then I'd love if you could subscribe and like, because the more love I see from you guys, the more motivated I am to make videos. So I would really, really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one.